they found pictures of me in a, on Facebook. Adultery in the Philippines is a serious charge. Oh my God, oh my gosh, David. My solicitor said that if I'm proven guilty, it could be imprisonment for me. Of course, I was, I was just crying. I was burst into tears because they can see, it. they have evidence that, okay, I'm pregnant. We knew he's got himself a girlfriend, so how could he file charges against us? Bah! It's double standards. <laughs> and on the letter it said that if we can pay him $10,000, he'd drop the charges. If he thinks I'm a rich foreigner, that I ain't. Even if I had the money, there's no way I'd give in to this kind of blackmail. Try to forget the problem for a while because it's holiday season. I think we need some music. Yeah, make it all, yeah. David can sing it. <laughs> We're chatting. Who wants to sing? And then I heard a noise. Cynthia! Someone's calling me Cynthia, Cynthia. Cynthia, where? My heart jumped. That's it? How could that be? Why is there someone calling my name? I went to look out the window, I started going, no, 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 I'll look. And then he said, Cynthia, there's loads of people outside. You can see loads of police cars. This is very disturbing and very scary. They're all armed to the teeth. They've all got their big machine guns. And I thought, this is serious overkill. <laughs> Come here, they might see you, they might You could hear a dad trying to talk to them downstairs, get upset. I said, I cannot take this anymore because my dad is the one dealing with them. Should be me. I go down. We went downstairs. Police come bursting in the door. I said, my goodness. This is the moment I'm scared of. My heart palpitated. I was like, oh my God, this is the scariest thing. I couldn't take my eyes off the guns that were there. <laughs> and then some bloke come barging through the door. <laughs> shouting to everybody and dictating like he's a police officer. <laughs> and it dawned on me, this is her ex-husband. <laughs> he was really angry. <laughs> She's the one. She's pregnant. It's not even mine. He was shouting that I am adulterous. Yeah, I'm a slut. And then they showed the warrant of arrest and then they said, we have to arrest you for adultery. I thought this was unreal, this is crazy. We haven't done anything, no. And he's telling the police, put handcuffs on her, put handcuffs on me. They said, why, why are you putting this? I'm not going to escape. Do you think I am a criminal? Because of what? Falling in love with David? I said, I can't accept that. As we were led off, Cynthia's dad stuffed some money in my pocket. You don't need this. But I didn't really figure out what he meant at the time. When I eventually went out the door, I saw these plenty of people. Everybody start taking pictures of us. <laughs> you think this is crazy? I'm not burying my head. Anything I've done wrong is falling in love with a woman and we're having a baby together, and I'm proud of that. Then I noticed Cynthia's kids there as well. And then I saw them. I just can't believe it, because why, why even the children? This looks like someone just rips her heart out. And it was horrible to see. What kind of man would do this? Not only to his ex-missus, to the kids. He will do the best he can to hurt me. He can do everything, but don't hurt my children.
but it seemed like the drive went on forever. It did worry me, the fact that Cynthia's ex-husband seemed to have control over the police. When you've got that sort of game, law seems to go out the window. That was the scariest thing. How could you fight for justice when these people are...